I'm Christine Lochner and I'm a researcher and a clinical psychologist at the Medical Research Council's unit on risk and resilience in mental disorders in the Department of Psychiatry at Stellenbosch University, South Africa. I have written a paper on excoriation disorder for the journal Neuropsychiatric Disease and Treatment with my colleagues Dan Stein and Anna Reen Ruiz. And this review constitutes uh, a systematic overview of current treatment options in excoriation disorder. Although this condition has long been described in the medical literature, it has not been included in, in DSM-4 or ICD-10. Now in DSM-5 and to be included in the uh, proposed new edition of ICD, which is this ICD-11. Excoriation disorder is described as repetitive skin picking, leading to extensive skin lesions, um, repeated attempts to stop or reduce the picking, and, and uh, uh, distress as well as functional impairment. If one looks at the photo on the screen, you'll see that there are physical complications, uh, which would include uh, these tissue damage, uh, infection at the skin picking site, uh, scarring, as well as disfigurement, um, and even septicemia. So this condition is a new addition to the uh, uh, latest diagnostic manuals. Um, and this would be partly in response to, to the growing body of data emphasizing its relatively high prevalence and potentially disabling nature. And uh, arguably its inclusion and delineation in these manuals will lead to uh, increased awareness, uh, likely more diagnoses, more research, and ultimately resulting in more treatment options or treatment advances. So in this systematic review, we focused on uh, publications uh, in excoriation disorder, focusing specifically on treatment. And this was between 96 and 2017. Um, publications on, on pathological skin picking uh, in the context of another mental disorder, uh, such as body dysmorphic disorder or, su or substance use, such as uh, with, with cocaine or other stimulants, or in another medical condition, such as prado willi syndrome or even scabies, were not included in this review. So we focused on non-pharmacological agents uh, first, uh, or treatments rather, uh, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, habit reversal therapy, and acceptance and, and, acceptance and commitment therapy. Um, um, we have looked at the benefits of these treatments with an excoriation disorder. And then in the last decade or two, the efficacy and tolerability of a number of pharmacological agents uh, have also been tested in excoriation disorder. And the studies included agents such as the, uh, the SSRIs, uh, glutamatergic agents, uh, opioid antagonists, and others. So in terms of the SSRIs, there are randomized controlled trials uh, available in fluoxetine, and efficacy has been suggested, as well as citalopram. There's been a, a large, uh, relatively large study, uh, randomized controlled trial using uh, citalopram, where the efficacy has also been shown. There has been a number of open-label trials as well using escitalopram, fluvoxamine, sertraline, and all of these have suggested some benefit uh, uh, in reducing skin picking. Um, Lamotrigine has also been investigated, but the data is inconsistent uh, thus far. There's also been growing interest in the use of glutamatergic agents in skin picking and other uh, OCD-related conditions, such as trichotillomania. Um, and uh, a recent randomized controlled trial using N-acetylcysteine, also known as NAC, uh, has shown that this agent is beneficial in reducing skin picking. There's also uh, anecdotal evidence for the efficacy of another glutamatergic agent, Rilazole, um, as well as for the use of opioid antagonists such as naltrexone, but no randomized controlled trials of these agents exis is exist as far as we know. Um, and in this review, we also included uh, uh, data of augmentation strategies, um, alternative treatments such as yoga, um, 
hypnotherapy, uh, hip, uh, exercise, etc. Either as monotherapy or an adjunct to existing uh, um, psychotherapy or, or medication. And we also looked at uh, combinations of pharmacotherapy and psychotherapy. Um, all of which have not been uh, uh, tested using a randomized control trial design. So in conclusion, this systematic review uh, focused on um, uh, uh, up-to-date uh, current treatment options for excoriation disorder and current management basically relies on a comprehensive psychiatric evaluation at first and then behavioral therapy consisting of uh, habit reversal therapy or acceptance enhanced uh, therapy, acceptance enhanced behavior therapy, and then medication which would consist either of SSRIs such as fluoxetine or citalopram or NAC. Thank you.